Yo, yo, Cuzzo Nation, we are back with another vid for your wig. YouTube, we here. Let's go. Now, as y'all already seen from the thumbnail, I wonder what's the energy that everybody is keeping. So we just had a big Yeezy day with rumors, because I don't know if it's true or all the way true, that it's going to be a second release. So uh, were you one of the ones you can put in the comments below uh, was like, I'm done with Kanye. I'm done because of what was said and all that other kind of stuff. Or are you are you able to separate the artist the designer from what he might have said what he might have did and like the product that he's putting out or are you on the fence or how was Yeezy day for you so for most of us that are sneaker heads it's like we like the design and if you're older and just like comfort you really like some of the products that were released so that means you kind of enjoy more the product than the person i don't know it's all depending on where you fit in that i really personally like uh the 350s if it would have came with his name or not i'm a big fan of the comfort and just the, the simple the simpleness of the design it's it's a everyday shoe it's something that i can wear every day be comfortable with and it's cool with me i can separate the artist from the art uh, uh from them uh or statements they may have made with some conditions that can go to a deeper place maybe we'll go in that soon i got a podcast elevated podcast be looking out for that pretty soon so without further ado let's get into checking them out got it here box is 350 it says yeezy boost 350 v2 onyx 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 all right, let's check them out. Now, the crazy thing is, I'll see if I can pull up a screenshot. Maybe not, because it has a lot of your information in the uh, email thing. It actually says it's gray. So I never had a pair of these. I had some of the 350s that looked like they had like the plastic or whatever. They were made. They weren't made out of the the woven material here. But it says gray. So I'm interested to see if it is going to be gray or not. We made it past the final boss but you know what we gotta do get him out of here all right hope no one was hurt doing that all right all right i don't really see where the gray is coming from that they say let's see looks all black to me I saw something floating around up in here what was that just whatever this is here. All right, we don't need this right here. Get them out of it. All right, all right. So let's check them out. Uh, so as you know, based on the agreement that they have with each other that Adidas was gonna sell the remaining pairs, some of them gonna dead, uh, give to, donate to charity and the rest, they are gonna fill their pockets with and I've been hearing conflicting reports of Kanye is going to get uh, still what they mutually agreed upon. Then I read something the other day was that he was promised, I think it was 75 million from the sale of these or if they were to sell them again. And then they put in a court order to try to freeze his assets. It's crazy. They want to make money, but then want to freeze him again. Again, whole nother subject, whole nother podcast, whole nother show. Thank you all for always rocking with me. Thank you for... The channel growing just less than a month ago is at what 250 something we over 300 now that's all because of you and i appreciate y'all so let's take a quick look at these shoes it says on the website to order do a half size up on the zebras that i got i want a full size up and they fit just a little big that's the thing with these sometimes you just don't know the fit so these are 11 and a half and we're gonna see how they look so pair it's, it's really simple really really simple shoe again i really like it for the boost qualities the boost to me is just uh is an amazing comfort 
uh, I ran, I think I ran, did I run my uh, first marathon in boots? I know I, I haven't ran, I trained in a lot of boot shoes. And then just to have a simple shoe like this to be able just to kind of uh, wear every day that looks like it can take dirt. I don't know how these clean, if any of y'all uh, from Rejuvenator to whatever other cleaning companies, how is it cleaning this kind of um, boost material? Because it looks more like it's a woven fabric. So how is it if these get dirty, dusty, or funky, or whatever, how is it cleaning uh, these? So, so far it looks like I can't necessarily do like a Jordan comparison where I guess with the, uh, I guess you can because some of this guy, you got little, I don't know if that will show up on camera because I'm shooting in a whole different way, but right up in here, you got little glue spots here, but the shoe has to be glued together. It's just when it's all over the shoe and all around, but overall, man, I, I'm digging them. I'm digging them. It's, it's a nice, plain, clean shoe worth two, what was it? What was the price? 230, 260, what, 230, I think. Eh, I think you're buying more. That's when it comes in to the name that's in here. But overall, man, from the other Yeezys that I got, it's just a comfortable shoe. And my thing, if you like it, buy it. If what you're buying is not hurting, inflicting pain on anyone else or their way of life, do you? Everything, what I, what I realized, everything don't have to be a Jordan. Everything don't have to be you know what the status quo said should be buy what you like uh so i like these man it's clean it's what i wanted second pair here looks pretty i mean they got they got sloppy right there on the toe i don't know again i'm shooting from a different angle so i don't know if that will show clear or not straighten up straighten up anyway if y'all can see it right around that toe where you see it uh, there we go that's what i'm talking about right there that right there it's like ah uh, okay but again these are not gonna be my everyday wearing but i guess too as i always say when you pan over they got this side too so let me see can i get y'all a better view on this one here this one got a lot of glue on the heel it's on the toe part itself it's kind of like Ugh. but i'm sure they're happy they got them out of uh, uh out of stock and that message that read no returns whatsoever and all that other stuff so they got it out of their warehouse and got into the hands of people that want it and surprisingly for all the uproar and things that you hear online it still seems they sold out except for a few of them a few of them were still sitting i think the belugas were sitting for a while where they still might be even sitting today but for the most part they sold out but it's crazy how you had a lot of people on both sides of the fence and with Adidas saying they have so much stock and inventory left that the stuff is still selling out. So go figure. And for the most part of it, it didn't look like, except with uh, a few pairs, that a lot of them had a lot of resale value. So either people really, really like the aesthetic, the feel of it, the comfort and all that stuff, or they have their eyes on the future thinking that when this is fully over, maybe the prices will skyrocket or whatever. Not a reseller, not my forte. So. I'll leave it at that. So again, thank y'all so much for rocking with your boy Cuzzo Nation. Oh, the new Cuzzo uh, Puff Signature tees are out on the website now. We will be at SneakerCon this coming, was it June 10th and 11th? We're going to be at SneakerCon. Everybody who uh, comes to SneakerCon and you're wearing your Cuzzo, whether it's old, new, whatever, you get an automatic 30% off anything that's at the table. So we're going to have the new Cuzzo puff tees there might have going to have some cuzzy stuff there and we got the new snapbacks in full effect with the puff uh puff uh embroidery on it yeah yeah we we got it we got oh, a bunch of different colors in these go and check out the website but if you're at sneaker con and you're wearing cuzzle just that saturday that saturday you are going to get 30 percent off and we're going to try to continue to follow uh don't forget to when you like and subscribe here go to the instagram page we're trying to take uh because we got a few people that's going to be wearing cuzzle that day a big cuzzle uh picture so maybe We'll set up a time. We'll see what would be the best time that most people will be there. Probably be right in the middle of the day, 1, 1.30-ish or something like that. We want to take just a big, huge Cuzzo family 
uh, picture with everybody rocking their cuzzo. We get to see and meet the people behind the screen and all that other kind of stuff. It'll be dope. Don't forget June 10th and 11th. We are going to be in the building representing our hometown, Chicago. So looking to see y'all there at Sneaky Con. Don't forget to stop by the booth. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Cuzzo Nation, I love y'all to the fullest. And remember today, as I always say, could be day one of you living your dreams, living whatever it is you want to be. Weight loss, becoming a better you, or it could be one day you could put it off. The choice is yours. Cuzzo Nation, love y'all. Catch you in the next vid. And we out. You got an event coming up. Man, you need a fit. It was just the right touch. You need something that's bold. Something pure gold. You need something that's cold. What you need is a... The ultimate expression of swag.